Today, we're presenting the Draeger Drug Check 3000, our new, compact and saliva-based rapid drug test. At the same time, we'd like to familiarize you with the testing procedure. With a single-use test kit, you can test a person for up to six substance classes at the same time. Cocaine, opiates, amphetamine, methamphetamines, cannabis, and benzodiazepines. You can prove the presence of these substances on the spot and within a very short space of time. Simple, safe, sound, and you don't need a power source to do it. Before you can start with the simple and safe sampling system, you must first remove the test kit from its hygienic individual packaging. The test process is shown again, step by step, on the back panel. The test kit consists of a sampler with a color indicator for collecting a saliva sample, which you take out first, and a test cassette for the analysis. To take a saliva sample, wipe the sampler back and forth for 10 to 15 seconds in the mouth, under the tongue and in the cheek pouches. The sampler must not be sucked or chewed in the process. If the red indicator on the mouthpiece discolors before then, you can end the sample taking early. Now push the sampler up to the stop into the funnel-shaped opening, so that the file containing the buffer fluid in the test cassette breaks. There must be no gap between the sampler and the test cassette. Shake the test kit until the red indicator ring has completely discolored. Hold the test kit upright or stand it on an even surface. As you see, the red indicator ring has discolored. The Draeger Drug Check 3000 enables you to choose between a fast or sensitive measurement to prove the presence of THC. The respective waiting or pre-incubation time must be strictly adhered to. Full information on wait times for THC testing, as well as limit values in nanograms per milliliter for all substances, can be found on the Draeger Drug Check 3000 packaging. After the wait time has passed, pull down the security tab to completely detach it. Then push the sampler straight down into the test kit up to the stop. The test has now begun. The control and test lines appear after around two to three minutes. You can then read off the results. If red lines appear in the viewing window, in the upper control area, labeled with C, and in the area below it, showing the substances to be tested, then the test is valid and negative. This means none of the six substances have been identified. On the left, MET stands for methamphetamines, THC for the active ingredient in cannabis, and BZO for benzodiazepines. On the right, AMP stands for amphetamine, OPI for opiates, and COC for cocaine. If a line appears in the upper control area, but no line appears next to one of the substances, the test is positive. This test is valid and positive for opiates. Should one of the red control lines not be visible within the space of 10 minutes, the test is invalid. In our case, the test is negative. Luckily for our test person,